Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our third episode on spiritual stability. Episode for today is on believing. In James chapter 5 verses 8 from the New Living Translation, the Bible says, If you need wisdom, ask our generous Father and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in every Thing they do well that is what faith is all about we believe in God that we should not have a divided loyalty because when we have a divided loyalty that is when you are not, neither believing or you are believing you know some people you are either here or there you need to be soaked completely in the Lord you believe in him totally with without turning back or without having a divided heart or a divided mind you are supposed to focus on god alone and believe that what he has promised is going to accomplish it and you stand on what he has said believe in what he has said and you will see things happening and we are told if you want i mean if you need wisdom you need to ask because our God will give it to you generously. Because you know what, when you have wisdom, you'll be able to know how you're believing and even focusing on God and trusting in Him. And you know what, the Lord Himself, when you go and ask Him for the wisdom, He's not going to tell you, I know the way some of the people answer, don't you know that? Why don't you know it? Or they keep on asking you why and why over everything our god will not ask you why you are believing in him or why you're going to him to ask for something he is not going to rebuke you for doing so that is wisdom if you choose to go before the lord so that he can guide you and lead you in what you need to do when you have a divided loyalty you're going to be like a wave you know the waves of the sea I mean, they are tossed. Every, when the wind comes this way, they are blown towards the other side. When the wind goes towards the other, that way, then they are blown towards another direction. So that is why we are told we need to put our focus, our stand in believing in the Lord God Almighty. Instead of you are here, you are there, and you don't even know what you stand for. Mark chapter 11, verses 23 and 24, the Bible says, I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Sometimes you go before the Lord and we are asking for something and then when we leave that place of prayer, we are going out troubled and wondering if that is going to happen or the same fears you had even before you went before the Lord. You are getting it even more multiplied. So that is why the Bible is reminding us. And Jesus himself, he told us the truth and said that if you be lifted up and thrown into the sea okay if you say to the mountain may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen what is that mountain that is in your life that is hindering you from moving forward or hindering you from progressing or it is causing you to walk in fear all the time what is it the lord is saying you have power to speak to that mountain that has come your way and is hindering you from moving on or even seeing the other side. The Lord is telling you to speak and it is going to happen. It will be carried away and taken into the sea. That is the Lord that I serve. 
he will not allow the enemy to stand my way. And the only way the enemy is not going to stand your way, it is by you rebuking the enemy without fear, knowing that the Lord God Almighty has hands that are stretched, arms that are stretched for you to go and lean on and just throw yourself where the Lord is. And uh, Acts chapter 10 verses 15 to 20, but the voice spoke again, do not call something unclean if God has made it clean. The same vision um, was repeated three times. Then the sheet was suddenly pulled up to heaven. Peter was very perplexed. What could be, what could the vision mean? Just then the men sent by Cornelius found Simon's house standing outside the gate. Um, they asked if a man named Simon Peter was staying there. Meanwhile, as Peter was puzzling over the vision, the Holy Spirit said to him, three men have come looking for you. Get up, down, uh, get up, go downstairs and go with them without hesitation. Don't worry if I have sent them. So the Lord here is assuring us and letting us know that in that place of prayer when we pray, or even when we we are dreaming and we have we know that all our mind and our heart is all focused on Christ, then He is going to give us an answer. And sometimes when we get an answer of what we need to do, some of us will want the answers our own way. The Lord is not going to give you answers the way you want them. The Lord has His own ways of answering and He knows what is the best answer that you need at each and every moment? So these people, when they came to Paul, uh, to Peter, you know what? God had to tell Peter that you receive them and go with them where I'm sending them because I'm the one who have sent them your way. Sometimes help comes and because our mind are not focused on the Lord, we turn even the help that he has already sent because maybe he has not used the vessel you're used to. He has not used the people you're used to. Maybe he's using a child and the child is speaking to you like the way the child spoke to, uh, to Samuel spoke to Eli when he was young and uh, Eli did not first believe until you know what it became too much that he had to tell Samuel to go and tell the Lord, here I am, speak. And uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9, God will do this for he is faithful to do what he says. And he has invited you into partnership with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. If you are not born again today, you need to give your life to Jesus, believe in him so that he will guide you and lead you and even have become stable. Because you will not get stability outside Christ. It's only Christ that gives us the true stability, the spiritual stability that we all need. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to honor him with your life and in cho and, and, and choosing even to continue believing that whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you think, it is going to come to happen. So now why don't you trust in the Lord? by reading his word and praying so that whatever you be speaking you are speaking through the word of god that will be anxious by the spirit of god to speak or even being told to not to open your mouth but allow the lord to move and do the mighty things he's long to do may the lord bless you for joining us in our daily devotion this is bishop dr grace karuki of amazing grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory. International Ministries, the mother to the CMCs, church ministers, children around the globe, and the mother to the amazing champions. These are the children we take care of in Nairobi. By the way, I want to thank God for all our partners that have stood with the amazing Grace children and those ones who have promised that they are going to send them show specials for Christmas. May the Lord bless you. And those of us who are asking for the dates when they can go visit so that they can share with them the blessings of the holidays, that is the Christmas blessings they want to share with those children. And we thank God because God will use you too 
to become a blessing. You can log into our website at www.agrism.org for partnership and also follow us on YouTube and Facebook at Bishop Dr. Grace Karyuki. God is going to bless you as you continue to purpose to hear what God has in store for us. May the Lord bless you as you walk in His ways and as you walk in stability in Him. For it is in Jesus' name we have prayed and believed. Amen.